Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, April 30th, 2019. We are almost out of April, guys. May starts tomorrow. That's that's kind of awesome. The year is... The, April really did kind of fly by, I want to say. But anyway... This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below, yeah? Um, also, these morning coffee readings are quite timeless, yes? So, um, energy is fluid, time is an illusion. Whenever you are drawn to this message, that is the right time for you to hear it. Most likely, there are some nice little nuggets in there for you to capture all right guys so let's just get into it today let's see what spirits got for us for today okay here we go <laughs> hi spirit please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Tuesday, April 30th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, I'm going to give us three shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for today. Tuesday, April 30th, 2019. Tuesday, April 30th, 2019. Last shuffle here, guys. And then we'll see what we've got. Alrighty, here we go. For today. So it seems like someone is really in control. Wow. Someone really has learned to take control over their lives. And as a result, there's some sort of reward that's coming from it. My, my, my. Look at y'all. Okay. Overall energy, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the first thing I heard with this Four of Pentacles energy is restraint. And normally that would come out with... Um, strength the strength card but that was the that was literally the first thing i heard let's see what else we have here we have okay the knight of swords with the divine wisdom and the emperor then we have the sun the nine of cups ooh the knight of pentacles and the ten of cups i'm saying y'all there is definitely some sort of reward that's coming through that your man and it's it's honestly it's not even really like a, a reward um it's more just the fact that you're manifesting it okay and there is a level of mastery here between divine wisdom and the emperor yes divine wisdom and the emperor there's a level of mastery here that is attained only through going through life's trials and tribulations um so what this really is saying to me is that the the energies of the divine wisdom which is you know universal energies what you're learning from your cycles within life and existence um and assimilating that energy into the core of your being into your existence um there's a level of growing up or we'll say adulting <laughs> here um but all of the whatever you learn from the divine wisdom or what divine wisdom represents for you is putting you in a place of power also respect um honorability if that's even a term or a phrase um you know it, there's there is an air of authority to you but it's not overpowering it's not um controlling like the emperor can be but instead this just feels like maturity it's like people just sense something about you um that they wouldn't normally see 
and other people. There's this, this definitely does feel like a unique sense of authority, autonomy, independence, that kind of thing. And it comes from a lack of codependency, okay? And I know that sounds weird, a lack of codependency, but it actually is. Like you're not codependent on anyone. You're a very independent individual and it shines through. With that, you also have the Knight of Swords. This to me is desiring communication in some way. I don't know if you're desiring communication from someone specific or you just want to communicate with people. You are in a communicative mindset, energy. There's also a sense of, there's a bit of hastiness, maybe some impulsiveness, but, um, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, not, did I say the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles is down here. I'm talking about the Knight of Swords. <laughs> um, the Knight of Swords, lately, in my opinion, or in the readings that I've been doing, has been feeling somewhat like a guard dog or um, a bodyguard energy. Uh, and when I was chant, when I had picked up and you know I started talking about the Knight of Swords, initially what I heard or what I wanted to say was go ready to go into battle or doing battle. Um, it, this just feels like keeping your defenses up, keeping your wits about you, your mind sharp, your eyes peeled. Because I do feel like. Whoever this is, you have a goal in mind. You have an objective in mind that you are, in fact, working towards with this Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? And you're very much willing to defend whatever it is you desire to create, to manifest, to pull into your life, okay? Um, with that, now, you have the Sun, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, all with this Knight of Pentacles. So, especially between the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, there is an energy of restraint here. Balance, grounding, but then also slow and steady wins the race, okay? The Sun, now, the Sun is, represents Leo energy. The Emperor represents Aries energy. Knight of Swords is, in my opinion, potentially a Gemini, but it could also be another air sign. Um, Aquarius or Libra. Knight of Pentacles to me is Virgo, which also, but it also could be Taurus or Capricorn, okay, if that's helpful for you. But here with the sun, you know, represents Leo energy, but it's also illumination. I feel like something has been illuminated for you recently, or you just have a deep sense of something, like a deep knowing about something that's shining a light on something here. Um, it's also just pure optimism, happiness, enjoyment, exuberance, success. I can't tell if you know something or it's just the energies are in alignment. I can't tell which one is stronger. It's okay, doesn't matter, it's great either way. Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Uh, okay, 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 okay. What the universe is saying with the sun here is, yeah, you may be aware of something, but regardless of that, everything is actually going very, very well, okay? There is a sense of satisfaction currently in your life, but I feel like there's even more coming because you see you're progressing from the nine to the ten of cups, and in between that is the knight of pentacles, okay? Slow and steady wins the race. Um, and you could see, you know, look, this Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles here, these individuals are kind of looking towards each other. So it's almost as if the Knight of Pentacles is drawing on this satisfaction, this satisfactory energy that you or someone is feeling in order to progress, okay, in order to move forward to slowly but surely, methodically um, develop that last cup to give you the ten, yes? This is a nice message, guys. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I do want to... Let's think about... Let's channel on this Four of Pentacles for a little bit. Because um, 
Okay, well, I heard it's not as bad as you think. So maybe I'm... I'm overthinking this one. Because normally the Knight of... I'm sorry, the Four of Pentacles is like a miserly energy, a... Um, a what? A hoarding-like energy. This could be Taurus energy, specifically. Um, but it just feels stable. You know, this is not actually... It really isn't a bad thing. This just feels like stability in the physical realms. It's like whatever it is you're working towards here with the Knight of Pentacles energy, there is a solid foundation. There is an excellent, excellent start here. You're, you have a good place to start from to continue to build on. Okay, that's cool. All right, guys. So let's get some clarification. And I'm just going to do it um, by... I'm just going to clarify the top row, and then I'm going to get some clarity on the, set, on the bottom row. Yeah? So, let's do that. Just some clarification. One last shuffle. Woo. Okay. All right. Well, we've got some flyers here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, first you have the Page of Wands. All right, self-discovery, inspiration. Um, there really is, there's inspiration here towards moving in some new direction. I don't know if maybe, it, it, it kind of does feel like on some levels, um, you, passion has been reignited somehow, or there is enough evidence or there's enough there for you to like really keep going with it um like you started a project and you started it and you, you know it was at the very beginning of the situation it, it maybe it was a little shaky weren't sure what was going to happen blah 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 but as time goes on with this four of pentacles energy things solidified things became a little more clear and the direction the um the plan of attack or the the method is like okay yeah we can continue doing the doing this let's continue okay so it's like it is a new inspiration but it's not at the same time because it's you're you're just you're picking up the momentum there's enough there's already enough of momentum for you to continue going and you're feeling quite passionate about it you do have the Three of Cups with that, so a celebration. This could be a social um, environment. Um, it's the balance of body, mind, and spirit. Also a union card. And then you also have the Knight of Pentacles again. All right? So keep, keep up the pace. Keep up this slow and steady pace. You have the Empress underneath the Three of Cups and the Hermit underneath the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so keep up this pace. Um, keep following your own inner light. There's a ton of abundance this you know don't worry don't worry about how things are supposed to manifest just have faith in the universe and continue on your path right okay one more shuffle and then we're gonna oh wow that was those were the counterparts mm -hmm. well two more you know what i'm just gonna give three in total so two more shuffles um but yeah those were the counterparts between the Emperor and the Empress. The Empress was underneath the Three of Cups. That's cool. Okay. So now we're going to clarify this top rope here. The Knight of Swords, Divine Wisdom, and the Emperor. Please, Spirit. Just a little bit of clarification here. Okay. Yeah, see, the Eight of Cups has fallen out on Divine Wisdom. Um, and honestly, you, you learned, they literally just said you learned how to let go of something, okay? Underneath the deck here, you do have the Devil. Could be Capricorn energy, all right? Um, but I really do feel like that's specifically tied to, wow, holy shit, that's powerful. There, whoa, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Okay, so the devil is underneath the deck. That's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing, especially in light of the of the really positive energies we have going on here, okay? Um, on the emperor has come the four of cups in reverse. So there is a, yeah, there is a release. There's been a release of some sort of... Um, unrequited love, procrastination, boredom, um, a, sen a sense of self has been has been instilled is what I just heard. And that's allowing you to take your power back, to be autonomous, to show up for yourself, show up for your life, to do the things that you really want to do. There was a major karmic cycle. Many major karmic cycles have been coming to an end lately, and it really does feel like a lot of that has to do with codependency here. And remember, I said when I was talking about the divine wisdom with the emperor, there was a sense of um, independence, or there was a sense of being in control of your life because of a lack of codependency. Well, the devil represents codependency right there, okay? Then on divine wisdom, you've learned to walk away from something, walk, walk away from what no longer serves you, no matter who or what the situation may be, no matter who the person may be to you still already or who they may have been in your life. Um, <laughs> I heard holding on to the past like a bad habit, you know, like it's time to let this go. And you learn to do that. You learn the beauty in that. You learn that you're not a wrong or a bad person for wanting to move into it in a different direction when circumstances in the current direction just aren't working out for your best good, for your highest good and any longer, you know? And then on the Knight of Swords, you've got the Knight of Pentacles yet again, okay? This Knight of Pentacles just does not want to does just keeps want to come out. But um, keep in mind that this is also a reminder to just allow the universe work with you. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. Just go by a step by step path. Take, uh, uh, yeah, take it day by day. You know, instance by instance. I don't feel like you really have that much trouble with that anymore. Um, but it's, I, I do, I, I feel like I really want to drive that home because the night, I mean, it came out here, it came out during the flyer, and then it's come out again. Okay? So just keep that in mind. I, I really do feel like you're doing the right thing. Okay? You're doing the right thing. Okay. So now, let's get down to this second row. The sun the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups, please. Spirit. Oop, there goes the sun again. Okay. Overall energy is temperance. Okay. Interesting. Seven of Cups. The chariot. There's the four of pentacles again. Wow. Okay. I really want to. Why would this? Why did the sun come out in reverse here? I almost want to turn it over, and they're saying yes, turn it over. Okay. Um. Lack of clarity with the sun in reverse. Okay, 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 I get it. Um, they're saying I can turn it upright, but <laughs> yes, because it's clear as day. Okay, so lack of clarity with the, f with the sun in reverse, but then with the four of pentacles. So there is some sort of, <laughs> yeah, there is some sort of lack of clarity here, but at the same time, they're saying you really shouldn't feel that way because it really is clear as day. Like. I don't know I don't know what you guys are going through but maybe on the surface there is some sort of maybe some or, sort of indecision um, lack of clarity you don't really you can't say you know for sure okay but you still know <laughs> right so that's why they're saying there's it's clear as day and that's why it would be the Sun coming out in reverse but that would also be why you have the four of Pentacles here okay um, 
This, this time the Four of Pentacles does feel slightly different in the fact that because there is some sort of lack of clarity, um, because there's some sort of lack of clarity, someone's not opening up quite yet. They're, or at least they're not opening up right away. That's kind of what's going on here. I'm hearing the feeling is mutual. Maybe you're connecting with someone and you're not totally sure about each other, but you still feel, you know what I mean? Like you feel that connection. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a song, Let Me Think About It. Let me think about it. <laughs> Let me think about it. That song just came to mind because they said, I believe it's by In In Inaya Day. Inaya Day. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Here, let me see. I just want to make sure because I heard her name in my head and I'm like, wait, who is that? And it's that song. So hold on a second. Inaya Day. She did. Oh, gosh. She did, hold on, wait, I'm sorry guys, I really want to figure this out. Oh, maybe it's not Ida Kaur? Huh. Okay, it's not the person that I thought, but ultimately it got me to that song. It's that song, Let me, it, it, she's like, let me think about it, and there's this guy saying, like, you don't have to think anymore, like, I'm right here, I got it. I got that cure, you know? And that's kind of the situation here with the sun in reverse and the four of pentacles on top of that. But ultimately, it's fine. It's okay. It really is okay. Because neither one of you, whatever this situation is, either if this is two people, like you're connecting with someone or you're just moving in a new direction, neither one of, no one here is really trying to move too quickly with this knight of pentacles energy that just keeps coming out. Yeah. So then moving forward to the nine of cups. Um, on that has fallen the chariot with the seven, seven of cups here. Now, there, there may be a, quite a few options, but ultimately I feel like, especially, so yeah, there are options here with the seven of cups, but the way this is depicted, <coughs> this person is blindfolded. Well, not blindfolded, but she's covering her eyes, okay? So this could either be a bad thing in the sense that you're refusing to look at what's around you or you're not trying to get distracted. I do feel like there is a deep sense of knowing exactly what you want. Um, and it's like the options don't even matter because it's not like you're out here looking for any old thing. You know exactly what you're looking for and once you find it, you're gonna, you'll notice it, but then you're moving very, very quickly. See, with this chariot energy, that's what's telling me that you know exactly what you're looking for, all right? And this is all falling on the Nine of Cups. So satisfaction is guaranteed, but satisfaction is guaranteed because you know what you want and you're not gonna settle for less. And so you're moving forward towards it, okay? On the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Six of Pentacles. So this is, uh, I guess this is a little bit of advice here, okay? The reason you need, you would be wanting to move slowly is because there needs to be a balance between give and take. Those days of overgiving are done, okay? You give as much as you receive or you receive as much as you give, like that, it's reciprocal, okay? Um, I'm hearing care and compassion. You're looking for that care and compassion. You want, and it's almost as if you want the situation to grow and build slowly and organically. Okay. And then finally, you have the Ten of Cups with the King of Wands. So more Leo energy. Um, again, this is an energy of knowing exactly what you want. But this is also knowing when the right time to strike is, knowing how to fall back, bide your time, you know, maybe focus elsewhere while something else gestates, you could say. And then underneath the deck here, like I said, you have temperance. So there's a balance, there's an alchemy. The, the coolest thing just happened, guys. guys I, <laughs> there's also patience, but, but I just, 
looked outside. I happened to look outside and there was something floating around in the air and this little bird just came up and snatched it and flew away. It was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> anyway, um, patience, understanding, tact, I hear. With temperance. Okay, this is really great. This is a great reading, you guys. All right. Um, it's funny. Yeah, I'm going to close the reading with the Crystal Mandala deck today. All righty, kids. Closing message for your Tuesday. All right. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for us today. Here we go. Closing message for Tuesday, April 30th, for this really strong, powerful message here for the kids, for the kids. <laughs> what do we have? Ooh, yes, card number 24. Ascended Master Mary Magdalene and Aqua Aura Quartz, Divine Alchemy. Look at how beautiful this card is though, guys. Like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, and card 24 boils down to a six, care and compassion, reciprocity. It's also, to me, six is a very healing energy. And it's, it's healing through love, through unconditional love, through understanding, through balance and harmony. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Divine alchemy. We bring you the blessing of divine alchemy. <laughs> Divine alchemy is the art of transmutation, the application of spiritual consciousness to physical form so profound that an entirely new form evolves. That's exactly what I was picking up on with the emperor and divine wisdom. Mm -mm. It is irreversible change. The coal is, I'm sorry, it is the coal transformed into the diamond, the lead of sleeping matter, awakened into the radiant gold of consciousness. Successful, al successful alchemical transformation requires patience, courage, and belief in the power of spirit above all else. The radical and permanent transformation affected by div divine alchemy may seem miraculous to the outsider viewing the changed form, yet the alchemist knows that when spiritual consciousness meets physical matter, the world will never be the same again. And that literally describes the alchemical transmutation represented here in temperance. Wow. Powerful. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. I will get you all set up. Other than that, I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.